Hey guys, I'm excited to share with you a new mini-series focusing on shapes. How to create shapes, how to add shapes to your work, and so on. Before we dive in, I thought it would be helpful to share a video on how to tie the three knots that I will be using in this series. Lark's head knot, square knot, and double half hitch knot. We will start with the lark's head knot. This knot is typically used to attach a rope to your dowel, piece of driftwood, or whatever else you may be using to hang your rope. Start by folding your rope in half and making sure both halves are even. Grab the middle of your folded rope, bring it across the top of your dowel, open the loop, and pull the two pieces of rope through the loop. If you were to flip your dowel around, the knots you'd be seeing on the other side of your work are cow hitch knots. Sometimes I use these knots for various projects if I do not want to see the loop at the front of my work. Here's how you create this knot. Next, I will show you how to create the square knot. To make a square knot, you will use four pieces of rope. With the outside left piece of rope, make a number four. With the outside right piece of rope, bring it in front of the four, then underneath all pieces of rope and up through the loop. Repeat that same process, but this time starting with the outside right piece of rope. You have just made one square knot or two half square knots. I will repeat that process one more time for you. We have created two square knots with the loop on the left. Now I will show you how to create a square knot with the loop on the right. Start with the outside right piece of rope instead of the outside left piece of rope and tie a half square knot. Tie your next half square knot starting with the outside left piece of rope. You can see the difference in the knots here. I'll show you one more time. Next, I will show you how to tie the double half hitch knot or the clove hitch knot. I will start with the horizontal version of this knot, then I will show you the vertical version of this knot. We will tie several knots along one piece of rope. This piece of rope is called the filler cord and the pieces of rope in the back are called the working cords. Bring the first working cord in front of your filler cord and tie two loops before moving on to the next working cord. The second loop will secure your knot in place, so make sure you pull the first loop tight.
We will now bring our filler cord back to the left side of our work. For those new to macrame, here's a tip. I would use one long filler cord that travels back and forth on your wall hanging. If you are using several filler cords, make sure that they travel to the right and then back to the left at some point so that your work stays even. Otherwise, your work will lean to the right or left. Working again with our filler cord, we will create a line of diagonal double half hitch knots down and to the right. Next, I'll create a row of diagonal double half hitch knots working down and to the left. Another way to tie double half hitch knots is to tie your working cord along a filler cord that is not attached to your piece of work.
you can either leave your filler cord hanging on the sides or tuck it into the back. I will create one more row for you showing you how to move up and down on your piece of work. You can create a shallow or steep curve, all you need to do is make sure you angle your filler cord appropriately as you create your knots. We will now move on to the vertical version of this knot. I've left two rows of horizontal double half hitch knots at the top of my work so that you can compare the two knots. To create your vertical knot, the cord in the front will now become your working cord and all of the cords in the back will become your filler cords. We are tying our knots from the left to the right, so make sure that your loops start on the left and end on the right. Just like the horizontal version of this knot, tie two loops before moving on to the next cord. I will now show you how to tie your knots moving from the right to the left. Make sure your loops start on the right and end on the left.
Similar to the horizontal double half hitch knot, we can use an additional filler cord and tie our knots to that cord. Thanks so much for watching. I love to see your work, so please feel free to tag me on Instagram if you've used one of my tutorials. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up below, and if you have any feedback, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials.